So recently I carved out a campaign using my LinkedIn sales navigator account, looking to connect with new hiring managers, new companies within my recruiting, recruiting niche, which is the wireless telecom field. The response that I got was nothing short of amazing. I'm going to show you the email, the in-mail that I sent and feel free to copy this and kind of change out the word tracks, obviously, to match up your recruiting niche. But the point is in-mails, LinkedIn sales navigator in-mails is really an amazing way to prospect outbound for various reasons. Number one, it typically will go right to their inbox and it'll avoid any junk or spam or filters. Most managers at companies, so if you're doing B2B sales, they will receive your in-mail, which converts to email to their inbox. That's a great thing because, you know, with cold email, you run the risk of so many emails getting blocked, going to spam, going to junk. That's why those stats for cold email campaigns are pretty dismal at times. Love InMail. You get about 100 free credits a month when you use LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So right now I've got 138 available. And rest assured, I'll be using all of these over the next few days because most of the leads that I get for cold prospects are generated from this strategy that I'll show you right here. Better than cold calling, better than cold email. All right, so here is the email <clears throat> that I created, which I converted into in-mails, okay? So I put the subject as DAS question with a question mark. DAS is short for distributed antenna systems. That's specific to my recruiting niche. It's basically like a cell antenna at an actual premise. Don't worry about it. But point is, it's a word track that is specific to my recruiting niche. So I knew that it was a strong subject line, very relatable, and it would elicit a read, which it did. So then I go into, say, the hiring manager's first name. I have a unique situation. Boom, right there. It's very enticing and intriguing to see what the situation is. A well-respected DAS PM program manager contacted me last week looking to explore new opportunities. What does that do? So right there, it tells the manager that this is somebody who's currently working. They're not a desperate, active job seeker. I only want to represent and promote A player passive candidates. And so again, it's more enticing and I'm kind of throwing some bait out there. That's what that sentence, the psychology behind it. He's worked with a reputable system integrator for the past seven years, managing sizable DAS installs with hospitals, enterprise, and stadiums. I write reputable system integrator because most of the companies that I'm targeting are system integrators. So people are curious, right? They're nosy. They're going to want to know who this person is. Wow. He's been working here for seven years and he's now looking to make a move. I probably don't want to miss out on this person. I want to find a way to meet this person and maybe carve out a headcount where I can bring him on because he could be an asset for my company. In my mind, that's what it's going to create for this hiring manager. Since he is still employed, I am confident, confidentially representing him. If you can use this skill set resource on your team, just please reply yes, and I'll share his resume with you. So make it very easy. The CTA is just a quick yes, and we go from there. So I can't really show you down below here to protect the privacy of the manager, but he did write back. He was interested, wanted to see the resume. And we went on from there. So you could take it a step further, right? You could include a link here to what I call an MPC, a most placeable candidate page. So I create these pages, not only for my own recruiting efforts, but for my members at Recruiting Me, where you can represent a candidate on almost like a digital resume or a digital portfolio. Now, if you're going to do this and do cold prospecting, you're probably thinking to yourself, why would I put the candidate's name on here? You know, these companies, I don't have any trust with them. We'd never work together. They're probably going to backdoor me. And that's fine. You can just not put the name up here. Just put an initial initials up here if you'd like. But in this, this is just an example page that I wanted to show you. So you create this page, put some really, you know, pertinent details in here, what they're doing right now, how they can add value to the company. And then you can simply contact me right here. And then I also include about a two to five minute video of the candidate talking about, you know, how they're meeting and exceeding company objectives right now and how they, if, you know, if you were to hire them, how they elevate your company as well. So really cool, you know, offering right here. And you can put this as a link in this email, if you'd like to, for the manager to, to dive in deeper. But what I wanted to get across is using LinkedIn sales navigator in mails as a truly effective way to get new recruiting clients. I use this mail that you're seeing right here and I got four new requisitions and I had basically six opportunities because the other two 
managers were like, hey, we just hired somebody, but we're probably going to need somebody in a month from now. Let's set up a meeting. So it literally lit up my calendar that week. Really effective message to use. Hope this works for you guys. Thanks.